Uh, Chef Troy, let's uh, wrap things up We're here. We're not going to get rained out. We're, gonna We're not going to get rained out. We, we got a couple time. minutes here to kind of get this in, doing this you know, pseudo southern thing. And I was I was going to start on the the bisque, but I think we should finish with that. So I'm going to start okay. on the salad. We've got some arugula here, and we've got our grilled peaches. We're and you actually uh, you salted those, you salted, peppered them too. Salted and peppered, you know, because you know they're sweet. You bring out their natural sweetness, but anytime you you you're going to have a salad, you kind of want a little bit of sweet, you want a little bit of savory, so the pepper and the salt kind of give it that effect. Okay. So we're going to put this on there. We're going to just scatter a few onions about. A boot. I, I love salad. Salad's one of my favorite things. I know I don't look like I well, eat. Well, there's salads. so many different ways you can jazz it up pretty quickly and easily. Well, yeah, and I, there's just so many different combinations. I mean, you can do, it, you know, steak, you can do all veg, you can do seafood. I mean, it's just, it's crazy what you can do. So we got some goat cheese there. These are our prosciutto chips. Instead of having bacon, you know, we're doing the pseudo southern kind of thing. And how did you, you used two skillets I when you did that, two right? Two skillets. We actually peppered the skillet. And I'm going to wipe my hands off because this okay. goat cheese is sticky. We peppered the skillet. Put the prosciutto in there, and then you put another skillet on top of it, so it kind of stays pressed. Otherwise, it's going to kind of ball up. Doesn't curl up. So we're going to okay. set this here, and then we made just a real quick dressing with just some yogurt, some vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and we're just going to drizzle that nice and light. You don't ever want to overdress your salad. You can always add more, but once you get it on there, you don't want too much on there. For okay. Sure. All right. So here is our bisque. I pureed it. We started with the stock that we made. Uh, now, if people are technical, you say this isn't technically a bisque. No, because it's it's a little chunky. You know, a chowder typically is a little chunkier than a bisque. A bisque is nice and smooth and creamy. Okay. And we're just adding some heavy cream at the end. Now, the stock, if you want to know how to do that, uh, go to foxchart.com, click on the rising tab, and that'll kind of give you the whole lowdown on that. But we made our own stock. That was a little bit of cayenne pepper there. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to start ladling this up. Now, we're okay. going to serve this two ways. We're gonna put this in here. I guess I could have got a bigger ladle. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna watch this, this for a while, folks. My, well, if I knew I was gonna do this, I probably could have <laughs> explained the stock. All right, we're going to garnish with just a little bit of corn and some shrimp because you want to let people know what's in there. And, you know, we use the shrimp shells. We use the, the cob from the corn, the charred corn. And, and your recommendation is to take some of this stuff, don't toss it, yes. throw it in the freezer, label it, and then you've got this stuff uh, kind of at your disposal. Right. And, like, you know, you had mentioned it in the segment also that, you know, it just it's one of the, going to be one of those things that just, you know, boosts your dish up to another level. You pull, you know, a little frozen chunk of corn stock and throw it in your rice. You're going to be amazed at what that does. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of the bisque on the bottom. Okay. We've got our goat cheese crusted sirloin here. We're going to put these on top. And as I had mentioned, look at that. You can get all these recipes on foxcharlotte.com. Clicking on the rising tab, we're going to garnish with a little more arugula, a little more tomato. And there you go. You know, yeah, you could even throw some shrimp on that if you mm. wanted to. He is our master chef, foxcharlotte.com, for these and many more <laughs> recipes. The MasterChef Competition, a brand new episode tonight at 9 o'clock, followed by Fox News at 10, right here on Fox Charlotte. Not his yeah, favorite I mean, show or anything. We I love it. There's only, there's only five people left. There's only five left, <laughs> people. And it's getting good. Bye.